First I want to show you a couple things, uh, just very basic. To switch dates of the week, all you do is scroll left or right. And to view your nutrients and vitamin column here, if you want to see what the full thing is, you can just put your finger right over the letter scores and scroll that, slide that in and out. Now I'm going to show you how to log some foods. To use the search engine, you can see this enter food search up here along the top. So this is just using the search engine, so you can put in anything. Uh, we'll search on an apple, and you can see the choices it brought up. I'm going to go ahead and tap on a raw apple, and since we use grams, you can see there's these little wheels here, and I'm going to scroll, I'm going to use this little wheel here, and I'm going to scroll up and say that my apple was 150 grams. So I'm going to use this other little men menu in the middle here to slide. And then if I wanted to adjust where I had the apple, here's my lunch, you know, breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks. So we're going to say I hit it for my first snack, and I'm going to hit this little add button. And now my s apple has been added to my first snack. Now if you enter a food in this food search here, and you're not finding it, it could be because it's something that Vitabot hasn't actually had verified themselves. So let me show you another way. I'm looking for a Lara bar here. So another way is if you click on package label when you're in that food, food search engine, this will actually bring up all your unverified foods, which just means that somebody else has logged it in their custom foods, another user. So if we had a Lara bar, a cherry pie Lara bar, we could go ahead and say one bar that we had for snack to and we could add it to our meal plan. Another way to add foods is by using your favorites. And to do that, all you do is hit the little plus sign beside whichever meal you'd like to log. So I just did lunch, and you'll see that it's going to bring up a bunch of different lunch favorites that I have already in my favorites. Now your favorites are not your customs, so don't be confused by that. We're going to add that, and then you can just slide that little menu back in. Or you can continue logging from the same area. And we could say we had some chicken breast with that, and so on and so forth. Another awesome feature is using your custom foods. Now anybody that's used the full version already is going to have some custom foods. And to find your custom foods, you're going to come down to the bottom of your screen. There's this little target looking thing down here. You're going to hit that and it's going to bring up this little wheel menu for you. What you're going to do is click on foods. And now this is going to bring up this menu of favorite foods and custom foods. We're going to click on My Custom Foods, and this is going to bring up an alphabetized list of all your custom foods, not to be confused with your favorites. All right, Everything that you create custom is not a favorite yet, but there is a way to make them a favorite so that when you hit that little plus sign, they're there. So I'm in my custom foods, and we're going to say I had some 90-10 uh, beef patties. I had uh, 70 grams for dinner, and I'm going to add that to my meal plan. So that's how you add a custom food to your meal plan.